Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. Right now, we're hanging out with Britney Spears outside. We're taking a walk, and I just ran into a crazy friend. And I wanted to show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see this, but look, it's a little baby turtle. I think it's a turtle. I don't think it's a tortoise or anything. Pretty sure a turtle. What's up, bro? Can I get close to you? Hey, dude. What's up? You are cool, man. You are really neat. You see that, George? Careful, buddy. Careful. It's a turtle. Whoa, yeah, careful. I know. <laughs> see that little spot on his shell is just where Britney Spears sniffed his shell. Yeah, I know. He's pretty crazy, isn't he? It's pretty nuts. Oh my gosh, there he goes. It's okay, buddy. It's a turtle. I know, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? <laughs> it's okay, buddy. <laughs> Look, he's going back into the, yep, he's going in the forest. <laughs> we can't go in there. Say goodbye to Mr. Turtle. He, yeah, he's gonna go live his life. Come on, bro, let's go. Good boy, that's a good boy. So today we're doing a daily routine. The walk of a Siberian Husky. Right now, we're getting the Huskies all exercised and this is kind of what we do around the two to three o'clock period. I make a YouTube video around noon, I eat some lunch, and then after I'm done, I'm like, time to take the doggos out for a walk. So first, I usually take out Britney Spears. The reason I take Britney Spears out first is because he gets really stressed whenever Gila isn't around. So instead of taking Gila out first, and letting him get all stressed what I do is I just take him out first then I take out Gila so while Gila is out on her walk he's like all tired worn out kind of just chilling at home and that's the whole plan so I get him exhausted first then I take Gila out for a walk second typically I take them on a walk all the way down to that light down there you can see it then we do a little loop-de-loo -loo. I go to the right and I come back up through the road that's gonna be passed up here, but it's kinda hot today, so. I think we're just gonna go up to the light today and then just turn around, cause Britney Spears is already pretty hot. He's like, yeah I am, baby. I'm looking good and fresh. Come on, let's continue. Good boy. Now I know 10 of you are gonna be like, 60 formula, how come you're letting your husky walk so far ahead of you? That's so unprofessional of you. Aren't you the best dog trainer in like the whole galaxy? That's right I am, baby, but I'm a YouTuber also, so I gotta get those shots. I gotta get those views in. And I can't get all the good views that just right up close to Britney Spears' booty. So if you are walking your husky, you wanna make sure that you're using a tight lead. Don't use a flexi lead like I'm doing. And if you are, be sure you lock that bad boy and no, don't let them go 50 feet ahead of you. Good lord, dude, I get it. You wanna sniff all the dog Twitter messages. Ugh, it takes all day. It's half the reason why you overheated. If he just did a steady walk, you know, if he didn't stop for every dog Twitter, we'd be good. Oh, I see that Egg McMuffin bag. Is there a McDonald's, a secret McDonald's down in that hole? <laughs> Come on, Britney Spears, let's go, dude. There ain't nothing down there, dude. And he's doing pretty good. This is the kind of steady walk you wanna look for in a Siberian Husky. Typically, they're tugging and they're running, trying to get tons of miles ahead of you. If they're just chilling like this, good on them. But if they stray off the path, look at that. Corrected himself, he's such a good buoy. Good job, dude. So my best advice for walking your Siberian Husky is practice, literally. I know that your Husky's gonna be tugging. It's not going to be an easy transition to try and get them to walk, but just practice every single day. The best method, I'm telling you guys, is just to get up every single day at a specific time and take your Husky on the same walk all the time. Practice having your Husky stay next to you, keep them on a short lead, and you, you can vary it up throughout your walk. Everyone says, this is the only way to do it, and this is the only way to do it. You you and your dog are the only you and your dog in the universe. So take it at your own pace. Do it step by step. Britney Spears, way too far. Come. Come on. Let's go. Come. Good boy. Let's continue. So he's going a little bit too far, so I'm going to tighten up the lead a little bit here. Make sure he doesn't get too far ahead of me, and we'll practice that for a little while. 
is doing a good job. Just want to get him used to a specific distance away from me. Now, tons of people are super strict. They like to say, hey, your Husky should be at your side, at a heel at all times. I kind of like to just make sure there's like this circle around me and my Husky can be in that circle around me at all times. As long as they're staying within that circle, I'm comfortable. They don't need to be to my side at every single second of the walk. Now, no, this is not perfect walking for a dog, but you know what? You gotta start somewhere, and you should never be ashamed of where you should have to start. Your Husky's never gonna be perfect out the gate, so just give them a little bit of time and work with them and be comfortable just being you and your doggo. Now, if you wanna practice proper healing, what I do is I really make the leash tight and I force them to basically stay on my side. So as you can see, as I walk, kind of force the leash like this and we do a little bit of a walk and he gets comfortable doing that. Now, yes, it does take a lot of energy out of me and I kind of have to force him to stay to the right, but he gets used to it and he's like, okay, so this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, that's a good boy. You're walking next to daddy, that's perfect. Look at you, dude. Look at you. You don't even need a snack or nothing. You don't even need no treats. You just need that cute little fur and those four little feet. Good boy. That's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Now, one trick to this, the way I'm making it look super duper easy is notice I made Britney Spears practice this heel and everything else after he was completely worn out. He's very, very tired right now. So he's more willing to be less explorative and listen to what I have to say, which look at this, this is dope. Good job, good job. So good, dude. Now that we're almost home, I'm kind of just gonna let him go free. Kind of just let him walk. Stop, can't cross the street without daddy-o. Wait up. All right, let's go. Good job, dude. So, just remember, Practice makes perfect. It's not gonna be perfect on the first walk. It's not gonna be perfect on the second walk, but you just keep working at it. Walk with your Husky on a daily basis. You're gonna get there, trust me. Never forget to bring those treats though. Never forget. All right, so now we got the big lady outside and we're walking Gila. Just like I wanna, I wanna pee on that. Okay, cool. Uh, so Gila's walk is always a lot easier to do. She's less stressful than Britney Spears and she likes to stop a lot more. So typically our walks are like less about exercise and they take longer. Suddenly it is really cool outside compared to when I was just walking Britney Spears though. I think there may be like a storm rolling through or something but there's like this nice breeze now baby. See what I mean about the stopping and doing all the things? Like what is this? What are we even doing? We're a lady. Let's go. He sit. Thank you, missus. Can you do me a favor? Hey, can you speak? Can you speak? Good girl, let's go. <laughs> Is this where the turtle was? Yeah, you know your brother found a turtle friend? Oh, here comes Twitter hub. She's like, I gotta get to that Twitter hub. I gotta, I gotta see if there's any DMs for me. I know, we made it here. You don't even, no DMs? There's nothing? Oh, it's over here. Got a little misguided. Now, look, when you get a Siberian Husky puppy, they don't know how to walk at the pace of a human being. It's hard because for a dog, they walk at the pace of a dog. They have four legs. They go a lot faster than people. So when you're teaching your dog to go on walks, it's gonna take a while for them to get used to the pace of you. So just be patient. Whenever you're watching YouTube videos of people walking their dog, or maybe you got a neighbor who has a well-behaved, well-trained dog a -roni. just remember it takes a long time for a dog to learn how to move those booty legs at the pace of a person. What's down there? I'm pretty sure it's a clown. Now I know many of you were talking about Gila gaining a little bit of weight. I mentioned it in the video that I did yesterday. <laughs> you are so weird. But this is part of Gila's exercise thing. Every single day now we're taking a long walk all the way around the park. And she's really been enjoying it. Yeah, I know. The sun is bright, dude. Now, one thing that's really cool that walks do for Siberian Huskies is it naturally grinds down their nails. So if you're someone who forgets to clip your dog's nails a lot or it's something that slips your mind all the time, if you regularly walk them like every day on a daily basis, their nails are gonna naturally grind down. So you won't even have to worry about clipping those suckers. Dude, you are, how much pee do you have in you? Sit, good girl, stay. 
Stay. Stay. Stay. <laughs> I didn't tell you to come. You stinker. You big stinker. I didn't tell you to come. You cheater. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Come here. Come. Stay. Hey, hey, hey. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Sit. Nope. Sit. Hila. Sit. Stay. Stay. All right, now that we're headed back, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a tighter lead. She's tired and has had a lot of exercise, so we are going to uh, practice doing some good walking skills. So like I said before, once your husky is tired and you've walked him for a little bit, practice doing a little bit of a heel. Practice walking with him by your side. Keep that leash tight. It's gonna teach your dog some good manners, and it's gonna be easier when you do it when they're tired. So this is our daily routine. This is our walk routine. We really hope you guys enjoyed it and had some fun. Maybe picked up a few hints or tips on the way. Come on, you boogerhead, let's go. If you guys had a blast, don't forget to smash that like button or hit subscribe if you don't want to miss any more Huskaroni pizza videos. If you have any questions about walking your dog or your Siberian Husky, leave them in the comments down below. We'd love to answer them as soon as possible. And we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yep, whatever we make. Peace!